Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Sorry it's been forever. I wanted to do an update on my explant. Everyone's been asking me for an update and I just needed to get everything together. I want to go over the list of all the symptoms that I have and how I'm doing with those and some other things that I've noticed. And I have a big list here again, so if I'm looking down, that is why. And I'm going to post, before I post this, I'm gonna post, I did a video of the day of my explant and like a couple days after that. And then after that, I was just kind of recovering and I forgot to record um, after that. So I'm gonna go over the list of the symptoms, each of the symptoms that I talked about in my previous video and how I'm doing with each symptom. So chronic fatigue, since I woke up from surgery, I, it's gone. I don't have chronic fatigue anymore. I think I've taken one nap. I was taking a million naps a day when I was recovering after my surgery. I had, I had to be at the hospital at like 6.30 a.m. And I was home by like one o'clock, 12.30. It was super quick and I felt amazing after surgery with all the antibiotics and everything in my system and I had a nerve block. So I was more sore, I didn't have pain, it was just sore, soreness. And I'm so glad that I got my pregnancy pillow. I moved it to the basement and I still use it down there but Best thing ever for side sleepers, highly recommend that you get the pregnancy pillow. And like I said, chronic fatigue is gone. I used to take like three to five naps a week and it was worse in the winter for some reason. And I have only taken one nap since September, since my surgery. And it's like, I think it's the second week in December. And dizziness, I still have my dizziness, unfortunately. But I figured that would take a lot longer to go away if it goes away at all. My brain fog, I still have it, but it's not as bad. I'd say I'm like 85% better with that. And same thing with the memory loss. The weakness, I don't really have weakness unless I don't get enough sleep. If I go to bed really late and have to wake up really early for work, that's the only time I have that. My neck and back soreness is so much better. I am i don't really have it that much anymore. So it's pretty much gone. I just have like normal 40 year old neck and back soreness. Um, I'm not depressed anymore. And I'm happy to report I'm off of my POTS pills, which were my heart pills. And I completely went off those, I'd say a month after surgery. So, and I'm feeling amazing. I don't need them anymore. Like I went on a walk with my, our dog and my husband and I would always be like 10, 15 feet behind and I could actually keep up with them. And I've never been able to do that in 10 years. So that was amazing right there. And the red eyes, I had white eyes right away, but I think it's my allergies at work. My eyes are a lot better than they were, but I still have to put eye drops in at work. I just think I'm allergic to my work building, honestly. And my hair, I did notice my hair is looking a million times better. And I have like a ton of baby hairs growing and I have a bunch of growth that's coming in. So I'm excited for that. So my implants were giving me crappy hair. <laughs> and my skin is a lot smoother in the video I'm gonna post before this and I'll put in a screenshot right here I took a picture of myself without makeup or anything on my face a couple nights ago and I couldn't believe how much better my obviously I'm wearing makeup now so that's why I'm gonna put that picture in but my face looks so much better it's so much smoother I have color back in my face like I'll show, I'll put in a picture right here. This was taken two years ago at Disneyland and my skin looks so old, so like dried and cracked and awful. And then in this next picture from my birthday, my birthday was last week and I couldn't, I couldn't believe 
how much better my face look. It looks like 10 to 15 years younger compared to that other picture. I only lost seven or eight pounds after surgery, but I lost a lot of inflammation. Like even my husband said uh, a month after my surgery, my stomach was like gone and he's like, oh my God, your like stomach is flat. And like, I wasn't eating bad or anything before, but I would just always be super bloated and after my surgery I got pretty bloated too for like a like two weeks I was bloated after my surgery but after that it like went away and I could like feel I can feel the muscle in my stomach which I haven't felt in years and I was like holy crap that was one of the first things that I noticed and the first thing I noticed when I got home from surgery was my remember the thing I told you over here on my neck the lymph node completely gone disappeared when I woke up from surgery and I got home weird it's gone <laughs> my anxiety is a lot better when my husband drives I still have anxiety but through a bunch of everything else I'm I'm fine and the throat clearing phlegm and coughing it's gone unless I have dairy so I guess I'm sensitive to dairy but at least I know that now and it's not like everything that I'm eating and the red cheeks, like I said, my skin smoothed out and I'll, I'll put those pictures in before. I haven't had itchiness. I haven't had the twitch eye. And I did notice, I didn't know this before surgery. Every time I would go to the grocery store or do something easy, I would like sweat profusely. Profusely. It was really bad. Even if I was just grabbing something at Wegmans for work, it was like, it was gross. It was not good. And I don't sweat going to the grocery store anymore. I mean, this was year round, even in the winter time or the spring. It was like every time I went, I would be like sweating, just getting groceries. It's not, I didn't realize that wasn't normal and it went away. So that doesn't happen anymore either. Yay. And I'm still, I still get dizzy to light and sounds, unfortunately, but hopefully that will go away. Maybe that's linked to my dizziness. And my vision is the same. It's a little bit better, but I guess it's still a little bit blurry sometimes, but I'm 42, so. And like I, I think I already talked about the inflammation. My waist is a lot smaller than it used to be. My stomach went down in size. I can actually feel the muscle. Um, I've getting a little bit of shooting pains in my boobs, but that's because I just had major surgery and all the nerves are getting reactivated and everything like that. And I haven't had any brain shakes. So out of all of those things, the only thing, things that I still have are the light sounds, dizziness, and brain fog just a little bit. I would say I'm feeling like 85% better overall, which is amazing for me. I think I already said I dropped seven pounds. I went down a pant size and I didn't even, I, I admit I haven't been doing my specialty diet or anything. I'm just eating regular. I will suggest, I'm still wearing the same kind of bra after surgery. I got on walmart.com, it's called the Aviva and it's the front zip bra. I have like four or five of them, I love them. And I don't see my doctor again until, I think it's the first or second week in January. So I'll probably get real bras after then. I figured I'd give my body a couple months to heal itself before I did that. I had my drains in for seven days. And when he took them out, the one on my right hardly had any liquid come out. But the one on my left, it didn't have a lot. It was just kind of medium. The whole time and when the day that he took it out I was afraid I was gonna get a hematoma or something because when he took it out it like gushed out outside on my shirt and everything but I was fine and then a couple days later I freaked out because I think I walked around my basement I had to walk every two hours I had to walk for 10-15 minutes and I think I overdid it one day on Saturday because I walked for 45 minutes and my left boob like swelled really big and I had to call my the emergency line on my doctor on the weekend and he told me to ice it and if um, it was an emergency to call him back, but it went down at, after a day, day and a half. So it was fine and I didn't have to end up going in 
that week. I had my scar tissue tested on my actual brush tissue when he was taking out my implants. I think I paid an extra like 700 bucks for them to do it because unfortunately my insurance didn't cover it but it was all normal so at least I know now. And let me go grab my implants. They're downstairs on the dining room table. Okay, I'm back with my boobs. Um, I actually haven't looked at these since I've been down. I need to find a better place. But these are my implants. He gave them back to me in these like hazmat kind of sterilization bags. And this one has lost a lot of water already and it's only been a couple of months of saline. And... It doesn't look like there's anything, let's see. Yeah, it doesn't look like, they looked brand new. I don't have anything in them. He didn't want to test the actual implants and mess with that or anything, which was fine. I didn't need to do that because I was doing everything else. And I did get my hair tested. I got my results back a couple weeks ago. I was high in aluminum, platinum, and one more metal. I can't remember the name of it. And I'm on a special plan for that. I think I might um, do a separate video on that. But, and I'm on no naps. So, I'm feeling amazing. I'll probably do an update after I visit my doctor in January or if I think of any other helpful information that I can pass along. And uh, please let me know if there's any specific questions that you have or anything. And like I said, the healing breast implant illness with Nicole is the main place to go with all the information and ladies with pictures and answering all sorts of questions and that kind of thing. But I can do that too. If you message me, I'll be more than happy to talk to you. I was very calm the day of my surgery. I had to go, my husband had to park in the parking lot because of COVID, he couldn't come in with me. So I would have, I had to go to one floor, get my temperature checked, then go upstairs to pay. And then they called me back like 10, 15 minutes later and I had to wipe myself down with all those alcohol wipes and everything. And then the one nurse didn't put in, I could, the, my IV, it was like dripping everywhere and I wasn't getting woozy. And so another nurse came in and I was like, what are you doing? And he kept calling it happy juice. And I remember him saying that twice. And then I like blacked out. And when I woke up, I was like, I was shaking so bad they had to give me crackers and apple juice but after that after I woke up from that and they the nurse gave that to me I was good to go and like I said I was just really sore um in the it was more the lipo spots where they gave me I could take a shower I think it was three days after my surgery and I had the drain bags I would highly recommend those I have already regifted them to somebody in the breast implant illness group but I would highly recommend those I'll put links to this stuff um, down below that I find useful and helpful and I just wanted to give a quick shout out to my doctor's office who are amazing I had my surgery by Dr. Parva P-A-R-V-A -A, in Leesburg Virginia if you're in the DC Northern Virginia West Virginia Maryland area they were great from the start to the finish with my consultation uh, the office manager was really, really helpful. I kind of had a freak out the week before and was getting nervous the week before my surgery. And so I met with Dr. Parva and her one more time before my surgery and they just went over everything. And I just wanted to make sure he was going to take out all the scar tissue and everything and he ensured me that he was going to do that and I didn't ask him to do this but he even took pictures of me during surgery proving to me that he did what I asked him to so he went above and beyond so I would highly recommend him if you're if you think you have BII and you want to get your breast implants out and get all your scar tissue out um, just tell him your concerns and he'll do the best that he can do to do everything that you ask of him. And I think 
that's it for everything. I just wanted to make sure in case anybody needed a good doctor, because you never know with surgeons and everything, but I wanted to put my review for my doctor's office out there, and I'll see you next time. Bye.